Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory be to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakako Dash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the others, great millstone that rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth, in the, in the hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. And I'm going to open up with a scripture that's in my mind, that's always on my mind, and that's Romans 13 and 11. You know, um, because if you can't see that we're in these last days, man, you're sincerely lost. All right, even if you you think you're sincerely found or sincerely woke, because you got a lot of Jake out there. I'm woke, I'm woke. But listen, bro, if you don't know this 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 devil is sharpening that sword, you know, and they're about to come out here with great wrath because they know that they have but a short time, and you know, pretty much deploy these martial law troops. They're about to, Im, you know, uh, uh, implement uh, curfews. You know, your 15 minute siege. That's hey, that's biblical prophecy. You know, that's actually biblical prophecy, man. Okay, uh, read Second Ezra 15. Read Second Ezra 16. And this is the time that we're in, and that's why we have to be circumspect, man. All right, just like the apostle Paul said, see then that you walk circumspectly as wise and not as fools, redeeming the time because the days are evil. That's the time that we're in, being circumspect, man. You know, girding up our loins like men, standing up for righteousness in a wicked, upside down, back to front, inside out society, man, because that's what this place is. And it's gonna be destroyed, man. And we're getting sick and tired of seeing it's true. You know, oh, oh, can I still have fun? I'm an Israelite, I'm in the truth, can I still have fun? Listen, bro, we're not in the time of mirth. All right, Romans 13 and 11 says, um, but knowing the time is now high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is nearer than when we believe. You know, Yahweh Shai is about to make his, his grand entrance, his grand return in power and great glory, as the scripture has said. A lot of people got it twisted. They don't seem to realize, you know, the fashion in which Yahweh Shai is going to come back and take this place down, bro. Okay? He's angry right now. Okay? And you know what, bro? Yahweh Shai is being, he's angry right now, but we're just supposed to be doing cartwheels with smiles on our faces, eating fucking candy floss, man. They don't make no fucking sense. But you see these guys out, oh, if you ain't smoking weed, I don't know what you're doing with your life. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that, bro? Okay, and this is what I'm saying. These Israelites, man, see, they don't, they really don't even understand what this thing is really about. That's why I've been meditating on what the apostles always say. Some Israelites don't know what this thing is really, what they're really involved in, man. You know, because we're about to in be introduced to a time on the earth like no other since there was a nation, man. Okay, 12 years a slave ain't got shit on what's about to happen. Okay, Mandingo, um, 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 my man Kunta Kinte getting his ass whooped. Okay, that happened to our ancestors, man. And guess what? Esau, yes, he's going to have to fit the bill for that. He's going to have to pay for that. Because guess what, man? This E, the scripture says that thou shouldest not have even looked. Read Obadiah 1 and 10 on down, bro. There's going to be hell to pay for what these Edomites have done to us and are still doing to our people. The oppression. And the fact that we're in a, under oppression, that alone should tell you what mind state that we're supposed to be in. What do you mean have fun? Now, do we let... Our so-called hair down every now and again And you know we, we would With the arcum and that and whatever You might get a bite to eat You might sip some of your yarn But the scripture says it, Even in laughter the heart is sorrowful Loosely paraphrasing Let me see if I can get that um, scripture Okay Because you know I, I was listening to it You know a couple of things I was watching a couple of videos And I was and I was seeing You know the, the absolute horse shit That I'm hearing Coming out of the mouths of some Israelites out there Israelites that know that they're Israelites And you know what the Lord said about them Judgment must first begin at the house of the Lord Those that know that they're Israelites man And if it first begin at us What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Lord So the judgment is coming man And those that know that they're Israelites man They're going to get visited Hey the death angels are going to be rolling out here soon man Alright let me read Let me read you this real quick right This is Proverbs 14 and 13 For even in laughter the heart is sorrowful Alright And you know what man That's the kind of mindset We're supposed to be in Hold on Didn't the scripture say Mark the perfect man Didn't the scripture say That Yahweh Shai Was a man acquainted with grief Okay Full of sorrows A man acquainted with grief Yahweh Shai went out here You know uh, Lollygagging And having a great time bro You know what they did to the Lord Read the scriptures man they, they mocked him, they spat on him They said prophesy who slapped you, all of that Put a crown of thorns on him And you think Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right hand side of the heavenly father With a smile on his face The scripture says that the day of the Lord burnt in his heart man Yahweh Shai is about to lose it when he comes back And yes, Yahweh Shai is his name Not Jesus Christ Okay, not Yeshua not, None of those, those you know uh, 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 Names that are floating around out there man But we've got the true name And, you know, and the scripture says 
you know that um no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. So we gotta hail those names, man. Yahweh what Yahweh Shai. Okay? Calling upon those names, that's what gives us strength. The scripture says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is saved. But you got people out here mocking the name of the Lord, man. So what do you think that the Lord's gonna do to people that are mocking his name? Remember what the Lord did to the Egyptians, right? Just for his name's sake. Read Romans the ninth chapter. Okay, the Lord jacked up them Egyptians just to magnify his name. And the same thing what he did to them Egyptians, the modern day Egyptians, the modern day Pharaoh is Esau today. He's the one that's got the power of the earth in his hand. Okay, he's the one who has his heart hardened right now with pride. He's the one that's lifted up with his pride, all this technology he's got. Okay, the satellite space, uh, you know, stations and all this bullshit that he's got floating around, man. But guess what? The Lord, the scripture said, when he's about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of, it, of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Okay, yeah, they got their new world order agenda. We know that. Okay, and we got to be privy to that. We got to be circumspect to what they're doing. Okay, now if you're circumspect enough, the scripture says, shall we then make mirth? Ezekiel 21 and 9. Son of man prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened. And furbished that it may glitter Should we then make mirth? No, we're not supposed to be in the spirit of making mirth, man That's not the spot, you know your Birthday parties, celebrating Halloween, Easter All pagan rituals, man Okay, that you're all enthralled and involved in All these wicked ass, you know, Christians that are out here running around Thinking that they're doing God's work When they really don't even understand that they're being manipulated And, and doing Satan's work, doing the will of Satan they don't even understand what's really going on, man. Playing right into the hands of the elites, man. All this indoctrination that we've been fed, and now the truth is springing up. You know, the scriptures speak about the truth has sprung up, and you know, the deceit shall be quenched. That's in 2nd Ezra 6. Now the truth is here. You still got guys that want to call upon Jesus? You still got guys that want to worship Easter? That want to celebrate Christmas? But you know why? You know why they're doing that? Because guess what? This ain't for them. Romans 11 and 7 What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for But the election have obtained it And the rest were blinded So this ain't for everybody Why did the, When the disciples asked Yahweh Shai Why speakest thou unto them in parables What did Yahweh Shai How did he respond He said because it is given unto you To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven But to them it is not given So this isn't given to everybody to understand Okay Facts that, It's not given to everyone to understand So you got people out here Yes of our nation that are walking around thinking that they can see but they're really blind and if the blind lead of the blind then they shall both fall into a ditch that's why we have to count ourselves thankful have some gratitude that the Lord has opened up our mind to see what's going on out here man and you know what man even me I need to practice more gratitude because sometimes you be going through some things and you be getting bogged down with what's going on but the scriptures tell us no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier The Lord actually requires that we actually soldier up and soldier on The Lord actually requires that we put on the whole armour The Lord requires that we keep moving forward No matter how rocky things may get Because guess what? You ain't seen shit yet We ain't seen shit yet The hour of temptation is upon us bro They're about to grab us up, put us in con concentration camps Torture us, behead us, all kinds of stuff Some of us are going to go through those things man And if, look the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first So we ultimately, we understand that even if we lose our heads in this flesh That our spirit, you can't destroy that spirit man We go back to the father of spirits Okay, and then guess what? The dead, right, that died in Yahweh Shai Meaning what? Believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Okay, endured unto the end What did the scripture say? He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved so that's our goal, man. That's what we, that's where we want to be. But ultimately, man, this is about it's really it's beyond what we want. This is about who's of the elect and who ain't of the elect. Point blank, period, man. Okay, so if you got guys out there, if you ain't smoking weed, I don't know what you're doing with your life. If you got guys out there saying that, they clearly don't understand the gravity of what they're involved in. They don't understand the tr this truth, man. Okay, they, you know that they're in this truth, you know, for a feel good time. You know, to, you know, I don't know, maybe they were a loner in the world and they, you know, they found a place where they could belong or whatever the fuck, whatever kind of ulterior intents people come to serve the Lord for, you know, or, or claim that they're serving the Lord. And the scripture says, cursed be he who doeth the work of the most side deceitfully, man. You know, that's treacherous, bro. That's really like, hold on a minute. The Lord said, look, you should have, you should have, um, what did he say? Uh, the scripture says, um, 
you know, you, you, you go back to the weak and beggarly elements, you know, or seeing that you know these things, you know, and you and you basically, you cast this word, you know, aside, and you, it's like you crucifying the Lord afresh, okay, putting him into an open shame, loosely paraphrasing, let me see if I can pull up that scripture, because I know I'm kind of, I'm, I'm all over the place right now, but excuse me, because I'm driving, you know, um, let me just type in open shame. Okay, cause man, hey, listen, man, we're at the end, and in Yahweh Shai, he ain't like he ain't he ain't playing no games, man. All right, this is Hebrews uh, chapter six, verse six. In fact, let me go pull up the full chapter so I can go from verse. Let me go from verse uh, four. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened. All right, we got the light, bro. Okay, we've been enlightened. The scriptures speak about that in Baruch. All right, that thou mayest be illuminated. We're the illuminati, uh, illuminati on the right hand side. We understand, you know, we've been given the light to see through this dark realm. You know, you got that movie Dark City. Yeah, this is a dark city, man. Okay, and guess what? We've got the light to see in this dark city. And you know what the scripture says in John 3 and 19? And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. You see that? So because your deeds are evil, you don't even want us to shine the light because guess what? You know that it's gonna it's gonna reprove you. you you're gonna be exposed, okay? But the really the really reason why you don't wanna you don't wanna be exposed is because of your pride. You wanna be able to do what you wanna do. You're in that vibration of do as thou wilt, which is demonic and a satanic man. And the Lord is gonna see every each and every one of you, man. That's that's transgressing. All you sluts and whores riding the cock carousel, right? Ruining men's lives. Okay, you wicked women. Okay, you wicked ass Israelite men committing adultery, eating abominable, eating abominable foods. Yeah, we have a dietary law. We have a dietary law, man. And this book is for the Israelites. And we are supposed to, you know, we're supposed to live according to that book. Okay, and we're, yeah, we're in the flesh, but we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. We ain't perfect. Okay, but it's just because we ain't perfect, and the scripture says, "Use not your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness." Loosely paraphrasing Just because we ain't perfect That don't mean you just Order a plate full of shrimp And start chowing down man You know Don't be simple bro This is what I'm saying And there's no wisdom in that Okay What sense does it Really you're just rebellious Alright But this is a rebellious people The scriptures say that And look Hosea 4 and 6 says My people are destroyed For a lack of knowledge man yeah, I'm getting on the two thirds. I'm getting on the wicked of our people right now. My people are going to be destroyed. And the ways that you're going to be destroyed. You don't just read the word, yeah, destroyed. And then that's that. No. How are you going to be destroyed? There's many ways that the Lord is going to take these niggas out in these last days, man. Whether you get run over by an 18-wheeler. Whether you get trapped under a train. Yeah? Whether you get mauled by dogs or, you know? Or by, you know, a couple of pit bulls locked during your windpipe. Teeth of wild beasts. There's many ways that the Lord can roast your ass, man. Whether you get cooked in the missiles When the Lord sends the missiles to America Babylon the Great And the whole earth rules to and fro like a drunkard Whether you get collapsed Whether a, a skyscraper collapses on your ass And you trapped under rubble There's many ways that the Lord can take a nigga out man You see a lot of people take Take the fact that they can breathe O2 You know oxygen And walking around Because they can go to the gym They think that they're tough A lot of people take that shit for granted man But when the Lord breaks you down Cuts you down to size and you know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Okay, you, you are, a lot of people out here are vainly puffed up with pride, man. Worldly knowledge, that they think is knowledge. I'm spitting that knowledge, that wisdom. You ain't got, listen, man. The only wisdom, if they speak not according to this word, is because there is no light in them. Okay, wisdom is the principal thing. The wisdom of the scriptures, man. All right, so let's go back to Hebrews 6 and, uh, and 4. I'm so lucky I kind of went on a tangent there. All right. It says, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. Those that know that the Israelites claim to be down, claim to be serving the Lord. Okay, in righteousness. Yeah, I'm oh yeah, shalom and all of that. You know, even guys that were giving double honors to the apostles and the elders. And now they're coming out talking about you can smoke weed. All kinds of stuff, man. But that's some seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, man. You see that? The Lord said that that was going to happen in these last days. But they partook of the they partook of the Holy Spirit, right? And I've tasted of the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come. Okay, and the scripture says, I hey, eyes have not seen nor nor have ear heard. You know the things that the Lord has prepared for them that love him, man. But we meditate on, on the things of the kingdom in the on, on, hey the scripture speak about um seek ye the kingdom first, and all these things shall be added, right? So we're we're single, 
single minded and our mindset is on the kingdom man okay it says if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance seeing they crucify to themselves the son of Yahweh afresh okay and put him into an open shame so listen man that's like the Lord you falling out of the truth that's like you telling the Lord go and go up on that cross again and, and go and get crucified for me one more time do you know how disrespectful that is bro alright that's fucking disrespectful, man. All right, but ultimately, man, guys falling out. That hey, if they went out from us, it's because they were not of us. I don't even know why the spirit got me talking about fallouts and. But hey, but that's hey, this the spirit, bro. It's the Holy Spirit right now. What's being highlighted is the ISUPK talking about you can smoke weed, you can have fun, and you know just pretty much in that party and bullshit spirit, man. And the scripture says, mark them that cause division. And offences contrary to the doctrine which we have learned and avoid them. So we're supposed to put the scope on these guys, man. Okay? No, we ain't supposed to. Hey, Yahweh Shah was a man acquainted with grief. Mark the perfect man. We're supposed to be acquainted with grief. Okay? Hey, if they pers hey, if they, if they persecuted the uh, um the Lord, then how much more so us? Okay, hey, the Lord got persecuted. Okay, the servant isn't above his master, right? Doesn't the scripture say that? Alright So anyways man Hey with that man I'm just going to leave it there anyway You know I'm going to leave it there And I pray this was edifying anyway man Lord willing I'm going to come back and do a lesson You know Another sit down Lord willing man If the spirit wills You know Because we're definitely at the end man. But Jake is just going to party and bullshit You know Until the very end You know Just like you saw that movie The Purge When you saw Jake getting laid down in the street And you saw Jake just partying in that Big ass garden With that big ass mansion Jake was just partying and bullshitting and, that's the, and, they, and these elites, they're putting this in these movies, man. They're, they're showing you the mindset of a nigger. Even though death is, is, is in the air, even though death's all around them, they're still going to be in that la da spirit, partying and bullshitting. All right? But the Lord has put a spirit of deep sleep upon Jake. You know, the wicked of Jake. Let me put it like that. Let me stand. I stand corrected. The wicked of our people, they're in a spirit of deep sleep. But our job is to warn you whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. Okay, didn't the Lord say, look, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but my people doth not know, my people doth not consider. You got them two, uh, we got a beast of burden. Okay, you got a, a, a you know, the, the saying goes, a dumb ass and a stubborn as an ox, right? But they both know where their master's crib is. But it, hey, Jake is just out here fucking bullshitting, man. All right, but because of that lack of knowledge, they're going to be destroyed, and that's what it is. All right? Because they refuse to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Alright, so with that man, hey, even J uh, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people are foolish. They are sottish children, right? And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Okay, yeah, they're wise to do evil. They're wise when it comes to taking another man's woman. Wise when it comes to selling crack, you know? Uh, shooting up another Jake, you know? Uh, scheming. Uh, uh, envying, jealousy, all of that They're wise when it comes to that You know, it's, and that's nothing but confusion man. And anything that's of confusion is of Satan Okay, and that's why Yahweh Shai said In John 18 44 Is a ye of your father the devil And the loss of your father ye will do man Okay, the scripture said The whole head is sick, so Jake It's like they gotta be put out of their misery man Okay, this is why yeah, and Yahweh Shai is gonna do that The slain of the Lord shall be many Read Isaiah 66 and 15 on down for the hold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, man. And we can't wait for that time, bro. Yeah, how was Shai coming back on some General Zod type shit? We can't wait. And all those scoffers and scorners that said, yeah, you believe in spaceships and that. You're going to watch, man. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. You wait and see, man. Hey, they scoffed at Noah. Hey, but Noah was right. Noah was very accurate. Okay? Just look at how much souls were left on the earth. Eight souls. How about that, bro? But you still have people scoffing against Noah. So fuck you scoffers, man. Alright? Anyway, with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakako Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone that rule well. And shalom to the hopeful elect.